Hey guys, it's the Dutch Sandwich. I just wanted to do a walkthrough of my kind of man cave, wet bar, I guess you would call it. You'll see the uh, Red Bull fridge there, front and center. I bought that probably about eight years ago. Got it on eBay. I'm assuming you could probably still find them. Uh, they're like probably 300 bucks. It's about half of that is the actual fridge and the other half is the shipping. It's, it's heavy, it's probably 60, maybe 70 pounds. So it's it's a bear to ship, but uh, and it's loud, but it's cool. And there's two sizes. You can get this is the bigger one, and they make a smaller one that only fits maybe maybe ten cans or something like that. But uh, it's nice. I, I don't run it all the time. Uh, you'll see if you look at the temperature that it's not very cold. I turn it off and then uh, crack the door so that mildew doesn't grow in it. But um, it's nice for when you have a bunch of people over, just fill it up with uh, drinks, and uh, people can just kind of reach in. It doesn't fit bottles on um, upright at least. You can lay them down and uh, you just gotta watch out that they don't roll all over the place. So that's the um, Red Bull fridge. And then I've got a built-in wine fridge that I store champagne, white wine, and then uh, 750s of beer. So it's all kind of organized. Got some um, Champagne sleeves. These things are actually kind of cool. I think I don't even think it's Moet anymore. I think it's Frigine, but I don't know. You'll never know. And then some 750s of beer on the bottom. And then a Vove Clicquot. Also, pretty nice one. That's that. And now on to the the actual spirits. I've got a lot of tequila. Um, Kind of, that's probably my favorite spirit is tequila. Casamigos, the first one with George Clooney's brand. It's a it's a nice one. It's like forty bucks. Um, Casa Dragones, that one's that one's super nice. I think that one's like seventy bucks, and uh, you can drink that one just um, straight up. Uh, Patron XO is a good one for shots, and then kind of working back. El Padrino is a really good um, blanco uh, to make like margaritas with. Uh, Don Julio is also good. That's the the uh, Reposado right there, and then the Kirkland uh, Costco brand Blanco is really good, also for margaritas. Got a couple books sprinkled in too, just to kind of break, put breaks between the different types of liquors. Uh, so I got you know beer and bicycles there, and then I've got all my whiskeys here in the middle. The Knob Creek Maple, which is great, just kind of straight. It's not as it's not as hot as uh, just kind of straight up bourbons. Uh, Two different types of Woodford, one of which you can only get at the actual distillery. I've got an Evan Williams single barrel, which is okay. Some years are really good. This one wasn't particularly good. An Anchor Steam White Christmas, which is the beer company made of white whiskey. Uh, obviously, Maker's Mark, Angel's Envy, and then uh, Black Ridge, and then a Rogue Brewery. I love getting the beer breweries uh, spirits. So this is their their whiskey. I don't even think I've tried that one yet, so I need to try that one out. Some more beer books, Cruisin' Single Barrel Rum, Zaya Rum, that's a really good one, it's super sweet, you can just drink that one on the rocks. Ransom uh, is, a, is a good gin, it's, it's got a real different flavor to it. Sweet Tea Vodka is always good, with some lemonade. Hanger One Vodka, Kettle One Vodka, and then I've got some kind of flavored stuff behind that is kind of a guilty pleasure sometimes. Um, Copper mugs for Moscow mules, some more books, other um, stuff I don't use that much, and my little windmill shoe thing, um, or no, not windmill, no, clog sailing ship, yes, thank you. All right, uh, another rogue thing, some bitters, and some mixing things. I've got my uh, Cicerone certificate there, I covered up my name, but uh, Cicerone, if you're not familiar with it, is kind of like the equivalent of the uh, sommelier program for wine, and I just did the first level. It's pretty basic. I mean, you can you could log on and get your get yours too. It's it's not it's not the it's not a certified cicerone. I'm just a certified beer server. But you still you still have to study for it a little bit and um, learn a little bit about beer, which was kind of fun. But I've got a little uh, wine rack right there. So yeah. Then I got Cringer, garden on top of the Red Bull fridge, and then Nuke, DeAndre Hopkins, and Sammy Watkins there. So 
that's pretty much a tour of my uh, man cave bar. Thanks for watching.